In today's entertainment city, we're talking to the director of The Gambler, but first, we're remembering English blues and soul singer Joe Cocker. You are so beautiful. Cocker died at his Colorado home yesterday at the age of 70 after a battle with lung cancer. He was perhaps best known for his cover of The Beatles with a little help from my friends. Over his 40-year career, he recorded 23 albums. He had a unique, singular performance style that made him a popular live act. In the 70s, Cocker struggled with alcoholism and debt, but turned things around in the 80s when he won a Grammy and an Academy Award for his song, Up Where We Belong. He leaves behind a wife, a stepdaughter, and two grandchildren. What's the king, baby? Justin Bieber gave shoppers in a London, Ontario mall a thrill when he showed up to do a little holiday shopping for himself. The Biebs bought a pair of van shoes at Masonville Place last night. Unfortunately, many believers didn't even recognize the singer due to the hooded onesie he was wearing. But word is the international pop star was drinking Tim Hortons coffee while he shopped. A true Canadian, ladies and gentlemen. What about you? I'd like to know more about you. There's really not much to know about me. <laughs> Look at me. <laughs> I am. It's one of the most hotly anticipated films of the new year. Fifty Shades of Grey hits theaters on Valentine's Day, but will have its world premiere two days earlier at the Berlin Film Festival. Stars Dakota Johnson and Jamie Dornan will be in attendance. much more festive than this One Direction decked out in Christmas gear caroling with Jimmy Fallon and the Roots. The Red Boy Band got into the spirit of the season on The Tonight Show last night and they're not the only ones feeling Christmassy. From Beyonce's massive tree to Jared Leto's Santa hat, the stars are joining in the countdown to the 25th. Taylor Swift proved that, like with everything else she does, she went all out with Christmas decorating. Selena Gomez shared a warm moment with her baby sister, and fashion's it girl Olivia Palermo puts the trimmings on the tree in this cozy photo. Hitting theaters on Christmas Day is The Gambler, starring Mark Wahlberg. I caught up with the director who told me about winning with this high-stakes film. What do they do to you if you don't pay? Break every bone in my body. How am I going to get my money, Jim? I look like a magician. We're there as filmmakers to sort of entertain, but also to provoke and, and, and hopefully challenge and stir and move people. So it's all of that that, that, that we wanted to kind of put into a film like this. Um, and, you know, with Mark as our lead, you get that opportunity to do that. All or nothing, all the money down. Right from the get-go, you see him totally transform into this character, not only physically, but emotionally. What was it like seeing that? It's performance, you know, it's true performance. And it was clearly an amazing thing to, to witness. Yeah, Mark is unbelievable in this, but speak to John Goodman, and he, in, in the couple scenes that he's in... He's a sight to behold, John. If I give you this money and you don't pay me back, there are no rules. And remember, you can find the latest entertainment headlines on Twitter, at NCity.